Okay, I have the deck all fared and finished sanded now. I got all the cross grain scratches out with with 40 grit, then 60, and then 80. And this hatch came out real nice. It's all it's even all the way around. And it's nice and smooth. It's fair. So and I just have uh, some famal wood here and there and, and some little uh, imperfections. So I'll probably end up hitting it one more time with 80 before I uh, go ahead and bleach it and stain it. But right now I'm working on these covering boards. I'm working on fairing these down and I think I have a process uh, that's working, that's gonna work for me. I started on the starboard side up here. I haven't done anything to the port side. This is what it started out uh, looking like. And on this side here, here's the old covering board, and here's the profile. And I just took uh, a profile gauge here and got the profile of this. Now usually uh, the profiles change on boats with um, as you come down the the uh, the side deck, but this one it didn't change at all. So what I did was I made. I made a, a pine block here to match it. And the cool thing about this profile is what I did was I took um, this very edge here, and you can see the very edge to the to the top of that, and that's that's basically the profile there. So I used this block to finish sand or not to finish sand to, to fair this down and it also works, the cool thing, you, I thought I was gonna have to make a different one for the, for the mid section and the aft section, but it's the same for all of them. For instance, here's uh, the covering board on the aft section. It's, uh, it's um, not as wide as it is up front, but if you put that tip on there, it's, it's basically the same profile. So that makes it real nice because I could use this block uh, on this uh, entire covering board. So what I did was I started out with something like this, a segmented piece like this, and I put it up here. And I have this, this tape, this uh, offset here. It's, it's a half inch, this is half inch tape. And that's just, uh, I, I don't want to uh, mess with that area until the very end, until I go to finish sand it with 80 grit. Uh, so I'm gonna stay away from there. And that's why um, there's no sandpaper on this edge here. So what I did was I started up front, I put this, this on here, and I didn't sand all this, all this high stuff off with this. I just set it on here to, deter to determine you know, where I need to, to take out a lot of material. And then I used my hand plane. And I know that I gotta knock this down quite a bit. So I just took my hand plane and went along and just knocked down a lot of the material. That's, until I got close. And I just kept putting this up here. And so I'm gonna have to hit this area and this area here a little bit more. So I got it close and then I started using this here to get the shape a lot closer. And I just tried to keep this, the tip of this right up at the top. You know, it moves a little bit here or there, but this sandpaper, it, it isn't going to, uh, it isn't gonna affect the, the actual deck here. I'm, I'm you know, probably three quarters of an inch away from it. So I take this, and I still have a little bit more work to do on this covering board, but it seemed to work pretty good. And I still have, uh, where this covering board meets the, the shear shelf, I've got, I've got about an eighth of an inch that I need to leave alone, and that's where the wood rub rail goes on. So I've got some eighth inch pinstriping tape. I'll probably put that on there, and uh, I still have a little bit more work to do on this to, to get it down to right where I need it. Um, but it's pretty close right now. You can see that that profile is pretty good. And then uh, um, I use this, this uh, flexible block here also. to get the shape down. So that's the process I'm using. So from here back, uh, I have to take away a lot of the material yet. I did a little bit back here. Keep taking that away until I get close and then I can start sanding it. See, I still have a lot to go here. So, 
I'll keep working on it and I'll do the uh, I'll do the entire boat and I'll start the camera back up and show you what when the covering boards are all done. All right. Okay, I'm getting the covering boards close and I just wanted to start the camera and show you something. I've got my profile block on here with the sandpaper on it and it's close, but it's showing that this middle section here needs to be worked down a little bit more. And when you're at this stage of the game where you're real close, it's risky, well, on this wood anyway, it's risky to use a hand plane because the grain changes direction a few times in this wood and uh, you could uh, run it the wrong way and tear, tear a big gouge out of there um, below the surface that you want. So what I do is I've got this, this flexible longboard like I used on the deck and I have 36 grit on it. It's real aggressive and it, it works, works great. It takes a lot of material down. So what I'll do is I'll just, I've got to work on this strip right here. So I'll just run it along here and not only does it take the material down, but it's taking it down evenly. So it'll be nice and fair. So I'll just, instead of using that hand plane, I'll use this long board. Put that 36 grit on there. And then I'll just keep checking it with my block. Once I start to get that close, then I'll use this block to fine tune it. And then I'll even use this little flexible one here with 40 grit on it. And then after it's fared, I'll take 60 grit and then 80 grit and inline it. And you can see I've got the tape up here and I've got that eighth inch pinstripe tape down here that I don't want to touch because the, uh, the wood rubber rail goes over there and it's seven eighths of an inch and it, it uh, it's, it extends above that, that line there where the, where the shear shelf and the covering board meets. It's a, it extends an eighth inch over that to cover up that seam. So I want to leave that line there. So I just wanted to uh, show you how I, how I use this long board to fine tune this instead of using the hand plane. All right? Okay, I've got the entire deck fair now. I just got the covering boards fared and finish sanded. And then I took a, an 80 grit long board to the, to the deck again a few more times just to get the cross grain scratches out. So it's, it's pretty much ready for stain. And the inside section, this section here, the king plank and uh, this border around here and then the engine hatch, that's getting bleached and the blonde uh, stain. And I'll, that's probably the next video I'll make, is how I do that. But I'm real happy with how these covering boards came out. Uh, again, I used that, that contour sanding. I had to switch memory cards, that one just ran out on me. But I was showing you this contoured sanding block that I made. I used that, and I used a long board with 40 and then 80. And then I pulled that tape that was... Uh, that half inch tape that was on the top there and fared that in. And just to make sure I was, I was good from side to side, I used, uh, I used this contour gauge, like you can see here, and went from side to side and got it, got it pretty close. So this, this tape is still on here. This is that eighth inch tape and that's, uh, that represents the, the top edge of my 7 8 inch rub rail. Uh, the bottom edge is the actual seam between the covering board and the shear shelf. So I wanted to keep that untouched and flat. So I'll probably do a little bit more sanding with 80 grit right along there and then pull that tape. And I'll go through one last time with a light, just make sure I got all the cross grain scratches. And I, I might use, uh, I'll look at any imperfections and hit it with FAMO wood. But other than that, it's, it's pretty much done. I'll give you a, a shot of the, the covering boards along here. These covering boards took a little longer than I thought they would to, to get them uniform. 
and pretty much even from side to side. But I'm happy with how they came out. And the hatch looks real good. It's all flush where it meets the deck. It opens up fine. I got my reveals all uniform, eighth inch all the way around. And this back piece here, I have that, that sanded flush. I've got some tape protecting that varnish surface there. Uh, one last thing I have to do is I'm going to, I've got to carve in, let me grab this, the other, the old piece. I've got to carve in that eighth inch deck seam into this aft covering board. That seam there. And it's going to go from this seam down. So I'll lay that out and I'll probably just do that by hand. I don't think I'm going to try to set up a router to do something like that. I'll just use an X-Acto knife and a real small chisel, thin chisel, and put that in there because that's going to get the blonde inside and then the crisscross stain on the outside of that seam. And then here's a close-up of the miters back here. They came out real nice. So that'll probably the, my next video will be on on how I uh, how I stain the deck, how I stain or how I bleach the uh, the king plank and the engine hatch, and then use the uh, I'm going to mix up some some yellow stain and uh, apply the stain on there. I'm probably going to put the crisscraft stain on the deck first because this surface and the king plank gets the bleach. And I don't, I don't want to um, worry about bleach hitting this surface, so I'm probably going to uh, uh, stain all the Chris Craft, the covering boards, the deck, and put a couple coats of sealer on it, and then tape that off, and then uh, uh, bleach the the blonde areas. So that'll probably be my next video. So that'll do it on, on how I fare down a new deck. All right?